Hello students, in this video we are going to study the phenomenon of microsomal enzyme induction and the role of enzyme inducers. Now this video is 10th in the series of videos on pharmacokinetics. Now before starting with our uh, today's topic, let's quickly go through the process of biotransformation. Now biotransformation is a process by which uh, lipophilic uh, that is lipid soluble uh, drugs are metabolized and uh, uh, the drugs are converted into polar or water soluble metabolites that are easily excreted from the body primarily in the urine or in the feces. Now these microsomal enzymes uh, specifically cytochrome P450 enzymes play a very important role in the biotransformation or metabolism of drugs. Now these isoenzymes catalyze uh, most of the oxidations, reductions, hydrolysis and glucuronoid conjugation reactions. And uh, more than 100 cytochrome P450 uh, enzymes are known. Now uh, two cytochrome enzymes namely cytochrome 3A4 and cytochrome 3A5 metabolize more than 50% of drug. And other important enzymes are cytochrome 2D6, uh, cytochrome uh, 2C8, uh, cytochrome 2C9, uh, then cytochrome 2C19. Now uh, these cytochrome P450 isoenzymes, they are grouped into families designated as 1, 2, 3. And uh, each family is further uh, divided into subfamilies represented by the capital letters that is A, B, C, etc. While the individual isoenzymes are uh, again designated by the numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So cytochrome uh, 3A4 means family is 3, subfamily is A and uh, the individual enzyme number is 4. Similarly, cytochrome 3A5 means that uh, family is 3, uh, subfamily is A and the individual number of the enzyme is 5. Uh, now let's uh, understand uh, enzyme induction. Enzyme induction refers to an increase in the biosynthesis of uh, microsomal enzymes, specifically cytochrome P450 enzymes. And increased synthesis of these enzymes causes increased drug metabolism. Now, enzyme inducers are the agents that increase synthesis of microsomal cytochrome P450 enzymes. Uh, for example, drugs like rifampicin, barbiturates, uh, phenytoin. Uh, they induce synthesis of cytochrome 3A4 and uh, cytochrome 3A5 microsomal enzymes. Now, some very well-known examples of uh, enzyme inducers are rifampicin, phenobarbitone, phenytoin, carbamazepine, cigarette smoking, griseofulvin, uh, glutathemide, and chronic intake of al uh, alcohol, that is ethanol. Now, let's study consequences of enzyme induction or the outcomes of enzyme induction. Now, enzyme induction can cause loss of therapeutic activity. Now, let's understand this uh, with the help of an example. Now, in this example, uh, enzyme inducers are drugs like uh, rifampicin, phenobarbitone and phenytoin. And these drugs, they increase the synthesis of cytochrome 3A4 microsomal enzyme. And the substrate of the drug is the oral contraceptor, which consists of uh, synthetic estrogen and progesterone. Now, oral contraceptives are metabolized by cytochrome 3A4. Now, if oral contraceptives are administered along with any one of these inducers, let's say rifamp rifampicin, uh, then what happens is this, that rifampicin increases synthesis of uh, cytochrome 3A4 and enhanced synthesis of cytochrome 3A4 causes enhanced metabolism of oral contraceptive and uh, thereby reducing the efficacy of oral contraceptives. So rifampicin, phenobarbitone, phenytoin induce cytochrome 3A4 enzyme, enhancing metabolism of oral contraceptives, thereby reducing their efficacy in preventing pregnancy. So this is an example of how, how enzyme induction results in the uh, loss of therapeutic activity of oral contraceptives. Now, enzyme induction can also increase uh, toxicity of drug. Now, chronic ethanol intake is an enzyme inducer and it induces cytochrome P452E1 enzyme. And this enzyme metabolizes acetaminophen, also called as 
paracetamol and uh, paracetamol is an excessively utilized over the counter and prescription drug so this drug interaction is very important now chronic consumption of uh, ethanol induces cytochrome 2e1 enzyme and uh, this enzyme causes enhanced metabolism of uh, acetaminophen uh, to its uh, uh, toxic metabolite that is uh, n acetyl para benzoquinone amine so enhanced metabolism of acetaminophen results in enhanced production of this toxic metabolite uh, this causes accumulation of this highly toxic metabolite in the body uh, in the liver responsible for acetaminophen induced hepatic toxicity and thus chronic ethanol consumption causes enzyme induction and increases uh, toxicity of paracetamol now a uh, very important to remember that uh, different cytochrome p450 enzymes are involved in the metabolism of uh, different drugs for example uh, theophylin is metabolized by cytochrome 1a2 lozartan is metabolized by cytochrome 2c9 diazepam is metabolized by cytochrome cytochrome 2c19 now enzyme inducers increase metabolism of drug Uh, metabolized by the induced enzyme now as uh, discussed earlier uh, for example rifampicin induces cytochrome 3a4 and oral contraceptives are metabolized by cytochrome 3a4 so if rifampicin is administered along with oral contraceptives efficacy of oral contraceptives is reduced and pregnancy can occur now drugs like rifampicin phenobarbitone phenytoin induce Uh, cytochrome 3a4 and uh, cytochrome 3a5 enzymes now as discussed earlier these enzymes metabolize more than uh, 50% of drug so these uh, enzyme inducers they affect metabolism of large number of drugs now apart from this uh, most inducing agents administered in the therapeutic doses produce maximum effect that is the uh, Uh, produce maximum enzyme induction within 14 days so this is in brief on the concept of microsomal enzyme induction and the role of enzyme inducers uh, please note that the information provided in this video is meant exclusively for students uh, from their examination point of view so please do not use this information for the clinical purpose if you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and share this video thanks for watching this video